Let's look at the automatic payment program. SAP provides the facility of an automatic payment program where you can pay outstanding vendor payments which is the due items from any vendor open items. While paying you can also clear the open items which is the outstanding vendor open items and the payment items you can clear both at the same time. You can post the payment documents in the system. You can print payment media which is like payment advisors or the checks which you are actually going to print on and then send them to the vendor. You can also generate the DME file. This actually is a type of text file or CSV file which you give to the bank saying that you have paid for these vendors. And all the company codes you can run in a payment run. Only thing is they have to belong to the same country. So you can the payment program you can run many company codes. Only rule is it, they all have to be under the same country. Now let's look at the steps for configuring the automatic payment program. There's a short transaction code for this that is FBZP. In that you can see there are six steps which you need to go and configure. One all company codes, paying company codes, the print payment methods in each country, the payment methods in company code, the bank determination and the house banks. Now let's look at configuring the automatic payment program. Now if you want to do the automatic payment program configuration, we have the SAP IMG menu path. In the path is financial accounting new, accounts receivable and accounts payable, business transactions, outgoing payments, automatic outgoing payments, payment method slash bank selection for payment program and here you have got the payment program options. All the five or six options we discussed before are here and there are even more options are here. The short transaction code for this is FBZP but that option is not given here. So what I like to do is I like to go directly to the short transaction code and do because that gives me all the screens in one transaction. So I'll show you that option. You just type in FBZP, press enter in your keyboard and that brings you all the necessary transactions here. So let me click on the first transaction, all company codes. So let's configure that. This is to say that it's going to configure which of the company codes are eligible for payment program. So I'm going to specify all the company codes which is relevant for the payment program. As you can see, my company code is automatically here. If you just double click on that, just double click on it again. So it's saying which is the sending company. Now if you want to see the definition of the sending company, just click on F1. Of course, you know what is a paying company. So if you press on F1, you're getting the example saying the sending company is the company code that is known to the business partner. So for example, your vendor might be a business partner. So how will the vendor identify your company by? So it can be, you might have a different company like a head office which will be paying them or even a subsidiary office paying them. For our example, of course, we're just going to put both the company codes here. The one which you're family with Z123 over here. And there are any, you can also specify there are any special GL transactions which need to be paid. You can even specify those special GL transaction IDs over here. Similarly for vendors and customers also. And also there are tolerance limits also you can specify over here. But we are just going to keep the transactions very simple. I'm just going to enter the sending company code and the paying company code as the same and press save. That is all specify all the company codes which are eligible for payments. The next I'm going to specify the paying company codes. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down to see my company code Z123 is there or not. As you can see it's not there. So I need to specify my paying company codes which is going to make the payments. So I'm going to click on new entries paying company code I'm going to specify one Z123 okay minimum amount maximum amount I'm not going to specify anything just leave it as it is and here you can specify some forms how you want the forms to be in which format just leave everything the standard format which is given by SAV script and you can even give it some sender details give some ID and all those specifications how you want the header and the footer in your payment advice to be 
you can specify all.